So we're going to wrap up our sort of uh, review of percent with a couple caveats. First off, uh, a statement like this, a politician's support increases from 40% of voters to 50% of voters. Uh, how could we describe this change? Now, as an absolute change, right, we got 40% minus 50% is a 10%. Ooh, see now this is th this is where this starts getting confusing because we're talking about an absolute change, and yet we have a percent here, uh, and so to clarify this, we usually say ten percentage points, uh, a, a ten percentage points increase. Now, this is uh, really confusing when you listen to the media because they often leave off the percentage points and they just say a 10% increase. The problem is when we hear 10% increase, we're usually talking about, a, or we're usually thinking about a relative change. And in fact, if we were to find the relative change here, we have a 10% increase, that's our absolute change, relative to the base of 40%, is 0.25 is a 25% relative, relative increase. So it would be totally correct to say that the politician support has increased by 25% or by 10 percentage points. And again, if you don't know which one you're talking about, media argue, uh, media statements can be really confusing. So you really want to look carefully when people talk about um, percent increases of percent quantities. So one last caveat has to do with averaging percents. So a basketball player scores 40% of two-point field goal attempts and 30% of three-point field goal attempts. Find the player's overall field goal percentage. Now it's really tempting to just say, oh, 30%, 40%, the overall must be 35%. But unfortunately, that's u probably not true because a player usually makes a lot more two-point attempts than three-point attempts. So again, we need more information to answer this. So let's suppose that our player made 200 two-point attempts and 100 three-point attempts. Okay, so um, that means that out of, uh, remember for these, they made 40% of their shots. So out of the 200 shots, they made 40%. In other words, they made 80 shots. Here, they made 30%. So out of the 100 shots they made, attempted, they made 30 of them, they made 30 shots. So altogether, they made 110 combined shots out of a combined 300 attempts, right? Because we had 200 two-point attempts and 100 three-point attempts, it's 300 total attempts is 0 0.367, or in other words, 36.7% uh, overall field goal percentage. Now notice that this is larger than that 35% we were uh, originally guessed, and that's because there were more of these two-point field goal attempts, so when we calculate the average, this gets weighted higher. Uh, so it's really important to be careful if you're averaging two quantities that are percentage bases, uh, because if they're not equal in quantity, then uh, you can't just average the percents.